Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verses 5 through 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So let's break everything down. For they that are after the spirit or after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So in this section here, what does it mean by flesh? Make sure that we are placing everything in context. When it is speaking about flesh, it is speaking about your old selves, your sinful nature, having sex before marriage, cursing, stealing, what else? and other sinful things. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So, people who like to sin is going to be more inclined to sin. Hey Kevin, I continue to sin, but I don't want to sin anymore. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Your problem is you like sin too much. It is not so much as the sins that you are doing. That is not so much the problem. It is a problem, but it is not the main issue. The main issue are the things that are leading you to sin. Movies, TV, friends, family, things that are influencing you. Those are the problems there. So if you take out the bad things, everything else is going to become easier for you. And I know that people may say that I am being too extreme when I say don't look at movies or television shows that have nothing to do with God. That is too extreme, Kevin, but yet you continue to sin day after day after day. But I am being too extreme, yet you continue to fall in the same pitfalls. If you want changes to come, you have to make changes. You can't not change and expect changes to come forward. It does not work that way. Friends, family, people that don't want to serve God, they are always smoking marijuana around you, doing drugs and stuff like that. And you wonder why, by hanging with them all the time, you wonder why you are not able to do right by God. Demons influence people. So if you are hanging with people that obviously has demons, why are you surprised that you are not able to do well in life? For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So you are continuing to sin because you like sin too much. You are not willing to sacrifice those things as I was explaining. Because it is too extreme. 
but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. So what does it mean by the Spirit? Following God's rules and regulations, things that are going to help you in life, God's laws. You are not inclined to do God's laws because you are not placing anything of God within yourself. You are not reading your Bible. You are not praying. You are not going to church. You are not researching about God yourself, but you expect to do right by not placing things of God within yourself. It makes no sense. I expect vitamin C to get within me, but I am not taking any type of pill. I am not taking any shots or anything like that. I am not eating food that has that vitamin in there, but I expect vitamin C to come within me. How foolish is that? I expect to learn more things, but I am not reading any books. I am not doing anything to increase my knowledge, but yet I expect to learn more things. How can I say that I want something within me when I am not doing the things to get that within me? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Kevin, I can't stop sinning. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? If you put more of this world within you, things that are not of God, of course you are not going to stop sinning. Verse 6. To be carnally minded is death. What does a carnal mind mean? Thinking about this world, as in, you don't think about the things of God. You think only about this world and how this world functions, but you are not looking at the spiritual side of things. Like I am speaking to you about God and about heaven and hell and stuff like that, but you are not inclined to listen to anything of that. You are more inclined to lean to your own understanding. Hey, whatever I can't see does not exist. That is a carnal mind. Hey, if God was real, he would blah, blah, blah. That is a carnal mind a mind that is against God. So how can you have a carnal mind and expect to follow God's laws? A carnal mind is not going to understand God. How, how can it? How can it? For to be carnally minded is death. Why is it death? Because you are not thinking about the spiritual side of things. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So to follow God's rules and regulations, doing what he tells us to do, that is going to bring much more life to you. It is going to bring more peace to you. Kevin, why don't I have peace? Because you are not following God's rules and regulations. This is the reason. This is the reason. So if you want more help with things of God, why don't you read the Bible? But yet you are trying to find answers outside the Bible and trying to get answers from people when the answers are here. 
I don't know if that makes any sense. So I pray that this makes sense. <laughs> God bless.